Yeah, so this story is, it's on the surface, it's boring, but bear with me, it's actually... We're, we're like bears. <laughs> what a yeah. tease. You're about what, to be bored, but hang in. Hey, don't, <laughs> hey guys, yeah, don't, 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 yeah, don't go to the bathroom. Listen, yeah. Bring your phone with you. All right, so basically, so there's been this idea for the last 10 years that America is becoming far more unequal in, in both income and wealth. So you had this study by this French guy named Thomas Piketty, and... He had these two other students from UC Berkeley team up with him, and they got, for some reason, they got uh, private access to IRS data that no one else got access to. Isn't that, is that legal? Well, the IRS gave it to them. Oh, oh so that makes it okay then. Yeah, so, so they, only they can study this de data for the longest time. Uh, and they produced a study that says America is becoming extremely unequal, and here's why we need to put massive taxes on the rich. Oh. Then, then comes the Occupy movement, then comes... Uh, Bernie's campaign, these guys skyrocket in popularity and they directly advised on Elizabeth Warren's 2020 campaign. Oh, wow. So they, they were drafting up all this, all this <laughs> policy <laughs> to, um, to tax people because of, you know, like the idea of like manufactured crisis, like you manufacture a crisis, look how much wealth is being generated at the top of course. and it's screwing up society. They're, the big idea though, isn't just like things are unequal, it's that when things are unequal, bad stuff happens. So you get like a so, like polarization in society, you get worse programs, you get worse schools because they're not paying their taxes, they're hiding on the Cayman Islands. And like, mm -hmm. that's all real, the Cayman Islands is real. And yeah, of course. People, like some billionaires are not paying their fair share, all that stuff. Do you remember the I, leaks? What were the leaks called? The leaks? Yeah, where they leaked the, oh, the money uh, that was being hidden in the Cayman Islands. Oh, for, I'll have to look that up. Yeah, 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 the papers. Yeah, the Panama Papers. Panama, Panama, Panama yeah, yeah. comes yeah. out and it shows that yeah. these people that are worth billions of dollars are moving money offshore into hidden accounts that aren't being taxed. And listen, we and, don't... And it's just fine. Right. 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 Whatever, yeah. 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 I, mean, that's, I think that's okay. I, I was, was going to say, I was going to do it too. Yeah, but we can't. And if we did, if you did it, you did it, you did it, you did it. Yeah, exactly. But here's the question, though. Why did they have to move them in the first place? because they're being taxed so Heavily much. And taxing, they, and yeah, they yeah. feel that their taxes aren't being spent on good things, such as wars in Iraq. Beautiful. Instead Tech. of, you Smart. know, if it was all being given to libraries, they'd be like, sure, why not? Yeah. Okay, anyway, so. Yeah, go ahead, I love it. So, so in comes this new paper from these two economists, uh, Gerald Auten and David Splinter. The first one's from the Treasury, the other one's from Joint Committee on Taxation in Congress. Okay. And their data has been around for a while, but they have finally put it into a big study. Basically, they argue that um, the, the original study by Piketty and his friends is, is complete bullshit <laughs> because all they looked at was pre-tax income, like just taking at face value what the IRS says. Okay. And Kelly, if you could pull up that graph. By the way, there's a full article about this on VT.com if you want to look into all the nerd shit. VT.com. I'm just going to make this like, you know. Nerd to get just aggravated. Put, yeah, put yeah. Yeah. aggravated. Yeah. Nerd shit, yeah. <laughs> They'll right. come up. So um, what's this chart? So basically the blue line is what Piketty said, uh, the wealth inequality. This is top 1% share of income. So this is like the blue line. This is what they said was uh, the 1% was making compared to everyone else, Damn. right? They said 20% of the income has gone to them since the 1960s. The green line is if you take away capital gains, and then the red line is all the way down there. That's if after. you look after tax. Oh, God. So after tax, yes, the wealthy have gotten richer, but not as richer as they've said. Gotcha. But the question is, that's after tax. So the, all that money that was generated, where did all that go? To the government. Oh, wow. So if you read between the lines of their new thing, basically... Yes, there is inequality going on, but it's the government that's the real aristocrat in the equation. The and and well, so, of course. so you think about it, how do all these federal agencies have all this time and money to do all this crazy stuff? Yeah. To research, you know, Rob's gonna talk about aliens. Uh, that's right. To develop weird technology. The CIA probably has like an unlimited budget. It doesn't even get reported on in Congress. All those black, well, those black, <coughs> black budget, whatever that, all the yeah. money that they just, Hundreds of billions of dollars that just are sitting exactly. there. The Pentagon can't uh, find where they spent all their $3 trillion $3 each, each year. $3 trillion. They, they failed their audit six times in a row. Mm -hmm. So I, so the government has a uh, revenue of like $20 trillion a year. $20 trillion a year. So our government takes in $20 trillion a yeah. year. 
And the richest man on earth is Elon, and what, what's he at, 200 billion or whatever? Yeah. So 200 billion compared to 20 trillion, Jeez. right? Jeez. So I'm not defending billionaires, but I would actually like to defend millionaires, mm -hmm. people who actually put in work to develop things of value for society, mm -hmm. and they're getting screwed not only by the government, but by these economists, like these it's guys, rats, Piketty, like, yeah. and these rats like that, <laughs> and they say... Oh, you know, you guys are the ones, you're oppressing society, you're ruining everything. Meanwhile, they're getting robbed left and right. And my, my argument is that what we actually need is we need the value-producing millionaires to get together and form a kind of like united front against both the extreme billionaires, because they're all in with the government too, of course. and the government, and then the left. And this is exactly what the American Revolution was. It was millionaires going up against the crown and against the banks and and then also against the crazy radicals of the French Revolution. So they're going up against the top and, and the crazy bottom for the middle. And that introduced so much order and peace and prosperity into society. And like that is how you fix things. And this we got yeah. well, we say. so it's a financial revolution. As financial revolution, but that, where not Bernie's. Not one, one, yeah. Yeah. No, obviously the right kind. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, uh, this argument, okay, was settled at the turn of the 20th century. Adam Smith, he wrote everything that he needed to be written down. Uh -huh. Then all these crazy degenerates, like mm -hmm. uh, Keynes, you know. Yeah, yeah, they, pedophile. They, yeah. Pedophile, weird. Yeah. Weird, pedophile. Weird. Most of like the big economics guys mm -hmm. follow his like teachings that are wrong. Yeah. It's all about it's Austrian or nothing. That's yeah. the only economic school that is with. Mm -hmm. There is a gentleman uh, that he's still alive. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. I, I hope we can get him on the show. He's a wonderful guy. He worked for uh, the Reagan administration. His name is Arthur Laffer. Have you heard about him? Uh, yeah, the Laffer curve. Ah, oh, oh. guy. Okay. What, what, what is that? He went to college. Well, no, the, I, I don't know. The, what it is. the huh. Laffer Just curve. <laughs> Huh? Well, sure, just went with it. Yeah, I know all about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, sure. It's a curve. I, I don't want to take the mic from you. You've no, no, I mean, that? come on. I'm I'm like, I, 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 yeah. The Leffert curve is a curve that uh, as you increase the tax rate on people, yeah. there's a point that you hit, like, uh, I mean, you're talking about revenue for the country. I mean, revenue for the government. Yes. As you hit a point that is around 30-ish percent, like if you raise taxes anymore, people will start evading taxes. You know, uh -huh. so there's a sweet, mm -hmm. sweet spot how much you can squeeze them. Yeah. Some people have oh, done beyond agreeable. Yeah. Some people have done historical research on this. Don't quote me on it. You can do your own research yeah. uh, that most kings and, you know, dictators and whatever, when they increase the tax rate over 30 percent, their heads will roll. Literally, literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. like they will go up to the king and like this is too much tributes. Yeah. Like, that's how they used to call them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um and they will kill them or, or get a get a new thing, and the thing is that this graphic that is wonderful vt.com read the Has whole it. article yep. search right. nerd shit nerd shit, uh, nerd 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 shit. read the whole article love it nerd it's actually inequality search that inequality inequality um that talks about how people that are on those brackets that are near because you have tax brackets the people that are near the turn of the bracket that if you're like upper range on one bracket you're getting squeezed yeah squeezed. Once you pass the, 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 to the next bracket. Think, think about um, upper middle class people who have to entirely pay for their entire kids' co colleges and they don't get any loans at all. Yeah. But yeah. They're, they're only making, you know, in the six figure, like lower six figure range where they actually, it actually hurts. Whereas if you're filthy rich, that little tuition doesn't matter to you at all. Yeah. And then on the lower end of the spectrum, then it's all loans, or it's even or grants, or the, or, the, yeah. or the government's basically yeah. paying for them or to go to college. Scholarship, but if you're making a hundred grand and you're paying you're what getting, fifteen thousand, uh, yeah. you're screwed. Brass tax, I'm on board. Let's start a millionaire revolution because be those people would never become billionaires because yeah. they will squeeze the oh, last one hundred percent. Like, mm -hmm. how insane is that? The government taxes you after you die. That's I mean, insane. they tax you after the grave. <laughs> yeah. Like, you worked, you paid your taxes, you did your whole thing, you died, and you need to pay to, to, you need to, pay to die. What? <laughs> and passing things on to your kids. This is That's absolutely Ameri insane. That's America. Tax is 
theft. One, that, tax is theft. But then how do you pay? Okay, I don't disagree that we're overtaxed, and I disagree with where a lot of it goes. But where's the balance? Where do you think the balance is? Because we do need taxes to pay for teachers. We need taxes for infrastructure. Firefighters, yeah. Well, it doesn't yeah. go to that. You, but, but you but drive down this road. Oh. We're in a nice area. There's potholes everywhere. Right. Oh, no, go no, to New York. Thing, go to I, I went to Baltimore this weekend. Every street had potholes. So like America's infrastructure is falling apart. The money's not going to that. So how do you propose? Like what's the fix where those services can still get met, but we have a say in how they get met. Because I thought that's why I vote, but then I vote, and all of a sudden all that money goes Listen, to Ukraine. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Listen, Listen, you get rid of all the stupid agencies and you keep the good ones. Can he know? be president here too? That'd I know. Be great. I so. Dual Ev president. Everything private is always better. Like the more they tech things, the more the government gets involved, the worse things are. Education system. Like public schools it's are dangerous trash. and are terrible. It's trash. Yeah. Yeah. Public roads. Like, you have you ever I, driven? I disagree. That's in certain areas. But I'm in Florida, and people knock the Florida school system where it's, oh, you they're banning books about gay stuff. And I have a 14-year-old, and we talk about it, and the issue does come up in health class. But it's not all day that they're pounding their head with it. There are certain cities, certain areas where it is. But I think the education system is not completely broken in the U.S. We have the best gover governor this country ever had. Like, you can say what you want about his presidential bid. Yeah, but not good. Wrong <laughs> and and since. Right. I mean, the guy kind I got to disagree with state. ever, but go on. Uh, he's who would be the greatest ever? Who's better? Ever, um, Jersey guy talking about Florida. Who's yeah, better? Yeah, what are you uh, the original it, New Jersey governors, Livingston's. They were all Jim awesome. McGreevy? Do you remember him? No. Oh, okay, but, never mind. But, but he's been putting in the work to okay. make that work. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, like, we are always going to make better decisions ourselves about health, about security, about education, than the government that is not looking after us will make them. Today, Ray, Dave Rubin released his show, and um, he said something very true. Like, there's going to be two camps, people that believe in the system that has failed us over and over and people that believe in themselves. And I'm a big believer in myself and in all of you that you're going to make your best decisions. Yeah. So I, I don't believe in this, this central planning type of thing. I think we put that to rest with, uh, with Adam How, Smith. Can I ask you a question, too? How is, I just recently found this out, people in, uh, is it Dubai, pay zero taxes? Where, where, where was well, that? I grew up Probably. with zero tax. And, and, and society, but we're not allowed to say where that is, correct? And society what? doesn't collapse but, at all. But I'm curious, is is it Dubai? I think it was Dubai that pays. Probably. Yeah, Dubai has. Yeah, they pay zero. Bro, zero tax. Right. And wait, because is it because the government or the 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 royalty right, they just take thing, care though. of everything? Right. It's just like um, Libya. Remember, there Libya is, is a rich. There is no personal income tax. Remember, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's sales yeah. tax. And there's remember, other, Libya is a is a is a country that you know uh, supplies the world with um, oil and all these mm -hmm. resources. So what they do is. Whenever they say, say they sell a gallon of oil, a percentage of that goes into every citizen's account. That's, not, well, that's, that's what happens. So, so they don't really pay taxes. Or, and if they get a loan, now let's say, you know, you get married. Um, if you get married, you get uh, a loan, 0% uh, interest. Um, so you can you build know, a house, build a life. You, you can build a family. You have a what, kid, you get guys, money. what are we doing here? Yeah, <laughs> America is, is, is a shit My place. My interest is a six and a half. It's a shitty percent. place. When they have zero. What are you yeah. saying? Because yeah. they're, they're focused on growing families. Because they right. know there family yeah, they is promote the center of society. Growth. So they make it easy for people yeah. to like get married, yep. to like yep. build a home. Build everything. And yeah. build everything. You yeah. know, because like... It feels like the government in the United States does the opposite for the citizen base. Well, yeah. well, it's not, it's not, you know, because they're, they're running a corporation. You got to understand that, you know, America is a corporation. America so, is still owned. No, of you course know, it is. We're not uh, actually free, is all they I never yeah, It's free. just like Jamaica. We are have we a governor the, general. Are we a shareholder at least? Because From, we're paying taxes. No. Uh, we're not even a well, shareholder. You're, we're in a you're company a that's a corporation. You're, 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 you're part of the stock. We're you're not right. enough to have a say. Your bird surfing you're ticket part, is, yeah, a, is You're a part of what's being sold. Your birth certificate is a bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, you, it has a bond number on it. You don't know that? That's hilarious. I didn't. I, I don't. Dude, I, <laughs> all I do, all I see, all I see on my birth certificate, Yonkers, New York. That's all I'm ever proud about. I'm like, yo, I was in New York. Check it people out. Talk. You have a you have a bond number on your birth certificate. Oh, they great. own you. So so what they do is uh, so they say, okay, you uh, in your lifetime, you're probably gonna pay X amount in taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, so a certain amount of money goes into your bond. And they trade it on the stock market. What the hell is going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, so let's say they have your bird certificate, and they say, let's say it's a million dollars. They can loan that million dollars out as much as they want to. 
Wait, so so Five. I'm the only free guy here. You're the only free guy because I was some born chilling. in an undi undisclosed, undisclosed location. location. No, no, yeah. no, no. What you have to do is you have to get yourself a surfer ticket of live birth. What's that? That's a whole oh, you haven't heard thing. about this? A bird surfer Woo! ticket is different from a surfer it's ticket of live, live birth. birth. So that means you're alive. A surfer ticket, it means you're dead. What the you're hell is going entity, on? You're a dead entity, which is why when you look on your, um, on your you. driver's license or uh, any government document that you have, your name is in what? English? No, no, no. Caps. <laughs> all caps. Yep, right here. My, uh, now, do you I'm write your name like camera, that? Yeah, yeah, it, do you caps. write? Because that's not you. Okay. That's somebody else. Everything's in, in order oh, to conduct business on your behalf, they have to create a legal entity to put into the system oh, damn. to create. So you're saying they're all doing identity fraud? Oh, dude, all pr dude, pretty much. Yeah. People, pretty much. People got into trouble with this. Like yeah. uh, they tried to claim that they're alive. Yeah. To police officers. <laughs> But the, the, those police they're officers, they don't get tased. No, no, no. They're, they're all resisting. resisting. You're dead. No, no, no. There's videos and they, they, they'll get sued. They get yeah. sued for that. You know what I mean? Because you're not supposed to. You, you're actually a live person. Now, how you, who, if you're gonna, you want to arrest Casway Lewis, you, throw, you can throw him in jail. Whoever that is, that all caps person. <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's not. That's you. all caps. You know what oh, I mean? Lord. When you go to court, the first thing that the judge asks you, what is that? Wow. State your name. Uh, I've you, never been in court. Are you, <laughs> Mr. Are you, are you Mr. Casway Lewis? Nope. I don't know who that is. <laughs> hmm. you Do you it. understand? No, I don't understand nothing. This is actually making me think. Uh, you know what I mean? Kanye wanted to make his name a brand and then IPO it. Mm -hmm. and, oh, really? And, and just have people buy shares in him. And then he right. would be his own entity, and yep. then he could just do business mm -hmm. under his name instead of like being owned by anyone, mm -hmm. like by a contractor, whatever. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of Americans that do that. You, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody driving around with a license plate that says private. Yeah, of course I have. Yeah. <laughs> that's them? <laughs> I thought that was like some kind of undercover oh, cop oh, or security. Oh, no, that's just a regular civilian, my brother. That's awake? He, what they call that? No sovereign taxes. citizen? Sovereign citizen? Yeah. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you could be a sovereign citizen. You're still a part of the corporation. You're a free person that's alive, and you just want to live under the universal codes of, you know, the God-given right. You're God-given right. That's, yeah. You just want to live as a free person. You know, you don't infringe upon, you know, Vince's rights and you live and that's all it is. Yeah, but I feel like if I get pulled over and I say all of that, they're still going to arrest me. Well, they'll they'll try, they'll, where's they'll the try. registration, motherfucker? They'll try to arrest Pretty you, <laughs> but once you, you, you know, you, 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 you try to ask for a supervisor or somebody above them who can explain... Because most of these officers don't get taught this kind of stuff. Of course they don't. But, you know I mean? so, but their supervisors would have to be trained on this They have kind to of know stuff something. Most necessarily would know how to handle okay. it because it's, it's happening. So they're going to get the briefing. You know, the other day we pull over this guy. We end up shooting him. And Vince was charged. His, his account was drained. Because as an officer, you have like, a, 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 like I, I guess they call it like an insurance or something that if... If somebody sue, so so a civilian can sue an officer personally, mm -hmm. and then that drains his uh, insurance or oh. his bond. Oh, really? Yeah, that takes money from him. Remember, a courthouse is you know it's just like a basketball court. What do you do on a basketball court? Win. You play a game. Oh wow! Right, and then you have a what? A referee. Who's the referee the in judge. the court? The judge. He's the referee. You know what I mean? There's a lot of way how you can, you know, get around So you around have to have a system. sensible judge. Somebody who can look beyond black mm. and white. No, 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 no. Whether he's sensible or not, he gets taught. He knows. So he'll try different ways, just like a police officer. A police officer will ask you the same question 500 different ways. Of course. The judge is going to try to uh, dispute what you're saying in 500 different okay, ways. I got you. For <laughs> you to feel like you're stupid and you don't know what you're saying. So, so if the legal system is a court, like a game court, mm -hmm. are you saying that in order to win, you got to uh, get no. sponsored by Pfizer, like Travis Kelly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that yeah, makes sense, no. actually. There you go. Yeah.